everyone, I'm Lisa, the Goodwill Gal. Today, I'm sharing more of my milk glass collection with you. Since the last time I shared my collection, I've added some new pieces and there's no surprise there. So I just wanted to show you the new pieces that I've collected and also how I style the hutch behind me for spring. So let's get started. Here's a look at my milk glass in a built-in hutch in my kitchen. Since it's right in the hub of daily activity, I get to enjoy it every day. For spring, I added some greenery and pink flowers. I bought them all at Ikea and they always have great prices and the plants always look real. When I post photos on my Instagram, I always have people ask if they are real. Sadly, they are not, but honestly, these are great since I'm all about low maintenance. Here are some new pieces I've added in 2018. I've been more selective when purchasing pieces and I'm also trying to focus on not buying duplicates and also sticking with the hobnail pattern since that is my favorite pattern of all of the milk glass. Sometimes I do get a little sidetracked but I can see I'm becoming a more disciplined collector. Here's my hobnail candy dish. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's one of my favorite pieces so far and take a look. It was only $7.99. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me. You could see that I have the majority of my milk glass pieces in this kitchen hutch but I use various other pieces throughout my home. So let's go take a look. I'm gonna start you off in the master bath where I love to use the little creamers and sugar bowls for makeup brushes. And this little beauty is a hobnail pattern and she was a mere 99 cents. I received this candy dish from my friend Beth and I use this for Q-tips. These three hobnail pattern bowls sit on the shelves as decorative pieces. This milk glass fruit bowl sits next to the tub where it holds bath bombs, sponges, and soap, all within my reach. I also use milk glass to hold jewelry Candy dishes are perfect pieces to keep small earrings from getting separated. This is a candy dish, and I'm not sure what the pattern is. It looks quilted. Um, I totally made that up, but um, I keep earrings in here, and its next door neighbor is a soap dish, and in there I also have more earrings. I have them separated by gold and silver, and it just keeps it easier when I'm looking for things. I also collect bro brooches, but that's for another video. Now I'm in my guest room where everything is pretty much white except for the walls, which because of the color just makes the milk glass look even more crisp and clean than it normally does. Here's the other side of the room and thank goodness it has better lighting because now you can see some more of the pieces that I have in here. Well that does it for my milk glass tour. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for all your kind comments. Till next time, goodbye.